Today, Democratic Senator John Fennerman gave us a jarring image. He presided over the Senate wearing a short sleeve shirt and shorts, which Republican Senator Rick Scott told me he thought was inappropriate. Tonight, a Senate known for its buttoned up image is in an uproar over this change. He's six foot eight, weighs about 270, and walks around the Senate halls with a hoodie and shorts on. And he isn't a tourist. Democratic Senator John Fetterman of Pennsylvania, whose choice of attire has forced him to vote from the doorways rather than on the Senate floor under the Senate's previous unwritten dress code, today was seen proudly wearing those casuals while presiding over the Senate. The senator from Texas. Now that Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has relaxed the dress code. Almost every Republican senator has signed a letter spearheaded by Florida Senator Rick Scott calling on Schumer to keep enforcing the code. This has got to change back. We've got to have decorum. We've got to, um, we've got to dress the way the American public would expect their U.S. senators to dress. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley saying it stinks. Senator John Kennedy saying, I don't like it. And Republican Senator Susan Collins joking, quote, I plan to wear a bikini tomorrow to the Senate floor. Some Democrats seem reluctant to criticize the change. Do you think it should be changed? I just think there's a whole lot more important things for us to worry about, so I'm fine, you know, as long as people cover all the private parts. I think you can have respect for the institution without a formal dress code, so long as individual members uh, take personal responsibility for upholding decorum. But Republicans are pressing, even on the House side. But you're going to change all the Senate rules simply so someone could wear gym clothes onto the floor? I mean, that's embarrassing. Fetterman today firing back, saying, quote, if those jagovs in the House stop trying to shut our government down and fully support Ukraine, then I will save democracy by wearing a suit on the Senate floor next week. While some senators like Kirsten Cinema often dress with flair, the Senate has expected business attire for centuries, with men understood to wear a suit and tie and women covering their arms. A senator without a tie would immediately leave the floor and fix the mistake. And Ronald Reagan famously would rarely set foot in the Oval Office without a coat and tie. One analyst says decorum has its place, but right now... We're heading headlong into what may be a sustained government shutdown. Uh, this is a distraction. This is a tempest in a uh, hoodie. Now, even Senator Fetterman says he's not sure if he'll always take advantage of the new rules. Fetterman was recently quoted as saying it's nice to have the option, but that he's planning on using the new dress code sparingly and not overusing it.